Good morning, we are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. Today, we've had another change of plans. I feel like that should just be the theme or the name of every vlog in the near future. Um, because our life with a two week old and a toddler, things are just always changing. We were supposed to go to a run expo on, you can just walk on my laptop. So we are supposed to go to a run expo today, um, but just like the way we felt after our big day yesterday. Also, Peter started to get a sty in his eye, um, which I'm thinking is how like his body like manifested like the sicky bug we had going around. Um, and just like, it just felt like it was the right choice to not go. Um, but Peter is actually going to be going and getting our stroller that we left at the Earhart's in St. Joe because he needs it for Disney. Um, so that works out better anyways for today. So that's what's going on. Me and Teddy are staying here. Him and James are going. And who knows? Who knows where the day will go? Is that Disney Files? <gasps> oh, you see Mickey. You see Mickey Mouse? Jamesy, you're gonna see Mickey Mouse this week. I'm so happy for you. And I'm so sad I'm missing out at the same time, but I'm so happy for you. All right, I got a, a baby over here. Watch The Lion King. I got a full tank of gas. We have to go all the way to the Air Hearts. Um, to get a stroller before our trip to Disney next week. So here comes a little glimpse of the Earhart's into our life, which is nice that they're just close enough that it can happen, but just far enough that not convenient, super convenient, because it's across the time zone plus two hours. But I like to go on a little adventure with my little man over here. Here we go. We made it out of Hoosierville and into Michigan, Deerville. Should be there not too long from now. James has been great. I actually think he's asleep. Da 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 da. Oh, he's a sleeping kid. We're actually gonna sneak in. I don't think they're home. I think they're at the store, but Ben texted me and said which door was left open for me. Such good friends to just let me in their house alone with my baby. What fuzz in your hair, boy. Oh, look at this beautiful piece of artwork they got. So that's the famous St. Joe Lighthouse. He has woken up. Oh, we got the shivers. We came downstairs to play with the Legos while we wait for them to come back from the grocery store. Cause we're gonna hang out for a little bit. We're not just gonna come pick up the stroller and leave. Could you imagine? Imagine if we came here, they're at the grocery store. They tell us what door they left unlocked for us. We come in, get the stroller and just leave to go back to Chicago and don't even see them. That can't happen. Cause we're not gonna stay super long. We were shooting for like, an hour because it's, we still have to drive two hours back. And now we got Bluey on. <laughs> I think uh, James has made himself right at home. <laughs> Look who just showed up. Hello, hello. How was the store? Good. <laughs> oh, stretches. I have barely vlogged today. Hopefully Peter has. Um, because I've mostly been just on the couch editing the vlog and folding some laundry, so getting caught up on that. Um, I had every intention of going on a walk with Teddy and getting some food, but the wrap was in the backpack that Peter has. And our other wrap, it has like, not wrap, uh, like carrier, he needs to be eight pounds. And he actually has this two week checkup tomorrow. And so I just wanted to make sure that he was like big enough for it and it was safe for him to do. So we've really just been hanging out. He's been snoozing most of the day. I feel like the time has flown by. I thought that it was gonna be like 
me like staring at my watch waiting for the boys to get home. But some days I just forget how long the vlog actually takes to edit, which I don't mind whatsoever, it's my job. But um, yeah, the time has gone by fast and our friends, Steve and Liam, you know, Steve from Tampa, um, they're actually buying us dinner tonight. So I just got all that situated and I'm really excited. I'm also just starting Umbrella Academy. Like there's been multiple seasons and maybe there's still hype for it, but I feel very behind. Um, but it's really good and it's like so up my alley. So that's what I'm watching. Peter and I rarely watch anything without each other, but we have so many other things that we have to watch. So I just started this as like a potential to watch while they're in Florida or like today when they're not here. So I left the Air Hearts a little bit ago. Um, so I didn't vlog too much there. It was kind of a quick thing. But James was having a rough go over the drive. There was some crazy traffic. So bad to the point where we got off at 35th Street and we're gonna walk walk around um, the Illinois Institute of Technology, IIT's campus. I went here for a year. Sarah's cousin Ben goes here currently. Um, he, James was done with the car ride in. The iPad, he had to touch with his foot and turn off the movie so then it was a black screen. There's all kinds of traffic, so. I just couldn't take his upsetness, so I got off on 35th Street because I'm, I'm familiar with this area. So I'm just going to get out, let him play around in the grass for a little bit, then we'll go back to the car and drive the rest of the way home. We made it all the way from St. Joe, Michigan to 35th Street. So close, but I just couldn't take him another 20 minutes in the car like that because it wasn't nice. So we're going to get some shoes on and we're going to run around some, some fields. Here's the Mies van der Rohe building right there, famous. Wow, is it nice? It's nice grass, huh? <laughs> That's much better, right? Well, we found James's favorite thing to cheer him up. <laughs> we found a fountain. playing in the uh, volleyball sand next to campus center. James, he dead? Used to hang out here. We didn't check. There's a, so there's a 7-Eleven in there. I don't know if it's open or not. We're going to see. I've seen some people go in the campus center, but I've not seen anybody come in or out of the 7-Eleven. I think that'll be the, the clutch move if I can get him a snack to get him back in the car because he's not going to be thrilled to go back in the car seat. So funny enough, the quad is over there, and I rushed a fraternity, triangle fraternity, um, for the year that I was here before I transferred out. I left this college to go to the Disney College program with the intent of coming back here, but then had the realization while I was in Disney that this uh, school wasn't for me. It was a lot of money, private school, a double major, a lot of stuff going on in our life. We made a better choice. I'm really glad that I had to, like, I quickly just got off on 35th Street to come over here because I was like, this is going to be great for James. <laughs> Also, there must be, I think there's a soccer game or something at Soldier Field and the typical super busy traffic on the other way on the Eisenhower because it says an hour to get home from here. I'm at 35th Street. I'm seven miles away from my apartment and it says an hour to get home. I got Resort TV one on when I have folded towels there as well. This is the pho that we got with all the veggies and the sauces. This is... um going to have like beef brisket somewhere. I'll show you when I put it all together. Got tons of sauces. Some spring roll action. These look yummy. This is their pulled pork sandwich. Looks really good. I think I'm gonna split everything in half for Peter and I and then Jamesy got dumplings. I assume Peter has vlogged a little bit in his car ride. He's been stuck in traffic. He actually, Jamesy was upset. He took him out. And then he's been delayed with like traffic like crazy by museum campus. Um, he, he insisted that I eat, so I'm gonna start. But he just said like knowing I was gonna eat cold food later was gonna make him feel even worse. So <laughs> I'm gonna eat. Um, but yeah, hopefully they'll be home soon. Here's the beef and greens that go with the foe. I knew they'd be here. 
somewhere. Alrighty, here is my bow all done up. I had in some sriracha, and I believe this is fish sauce. Um, so this is half, so then Peter will have the other half. My friends are back. We got the Grinch on. James is eating like four pot stickers so far. He's training for Ohana. Had a little cantaloupe. Whoa, he's like buzz. Home Alone. Everything we had for dinner was really good. What did you agree? We've passed that place a gazillion times. Um, I'll put the actual like link to their website or menu or whatever in the description, but so, so good. Vietnamese food. And James is definitely, I feel like we say this a lot in the vlog, he's definitely our child, but especially since he loves, he loves pot stickers. Can you give it to him? There you go. Good job, thank you. It's Jamesy's first time really holding them. Why would you want to buy you? 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 Mm-hmm. What are you telling me, little brother? Be gentle, be gentle. <laughs> Doing sh 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 soft. Mm. <laughs> that was sweet. Wow, you give him smooches. What a day. Sarah's gonna put uh, lay down with James so I can hang out with Teddy since we like were away from all of each other's all day long. Um, but it's great seeing the air hearts. I look exhausted. I so drives like that destroy me, like are so frustrating to me. And that drive back from Michigan, like there was gridlock construction, gridlock accident before I even got to Illinois and then there was like a soccer game at Soldier Field that was it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get home from seven miles away like when I left IIT it was an hour and 15 minutes and I just like I don't have road rage but like I get so like viscerally upset about it um so I was like mentally zonked when I got back but these kids always bring a smile so I'm gonna soak up some baby endorphins now, so I can hear them goofing off in there, but they're gonna snuggle and go to sleep in there, and Sarah will text me to come in there and drop him in the crib. Um, I think we're just gonna hang out then. Um, tomorrow's Monday. I have a lot to get done before we go to, James and I go to Florida on Thursday, so. And a lot, we're gonna see some family members finally, because we are all pretty much on the mend and feeling good about being around other people now. So he's got quite a few family members to meet this week, and it'll be a good time. This little baby is snoozing, and the other little baby is snoozing. After my day away from James, I got to snuggle him, and it was it was nice. We have Peter has been lifting James to put him in the crib, and so he has been putting him down a lot. But tonight, I just texted him when he fell asleep, and he transferred him, and I got all the snuggles. Um, we are actually kind of on like a fun plan planning spree at the moment um obviously peter and james go to florida this week we have a trip later this year we told you that we had canceled trips and we're just gonna have one disney trip um which makes the most sense for us as we're saving for a home because we have annual passes we have dvc and so it's actually most affordable for us to go to disney because we we've like basically baked like into our finances 
like key parts of going to Disney. So we just got to get there and pay for food. So there's that. And then Dopey. We've kind of, we want to like situate all of those details. Um, so that once it gets closer, it's not like we're scrambling or we just want to make sure we have like all of our, all of the options that we want, like as far as like our Airbnb before Dopey and then our bits of staying at Disney before like the cruise and stuff. So I was I told them I emotionally couldn't handle um, traffic. Yeah. That, like it's not road rage, but it's like kind of like it. I think it's like your body like literally just like starts to like reject Life. joy. <laughs> right. And so you're going to eat that to feel better? All my muscles and nerves and bones just start to stiffen. Like the rest of your day is ruined. Like I'm I should probably talk to somebody about that. <laughs> this was a wild and crazy day, but we're another step closer to going to Florida and another step closer to James and Teddy being old people. Why? Why are you saying that? Every day they get closer to being old people. It's going to be great to see. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.